Yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Jay Sizzle and today we are back with a brand new video here on the map Contraband. This is going to be episode number two of the Tizzle map tutorials. And yeah, let's start off. So here's the layout of the map. Contraband is a map that runs with a lot of water. There's a lot of water here. You can swim a lot. Um, very popular mid map battling. Um, there's two windows, one inside a boat and then one inside this ruins area that makes the map very populated in the middle. A lot of traffic going on there. And then followed by a water area on one side of the map and then a jungle area on the other side of the map. So this this map doesn't have a lot of tips. Uh, I mean, a lot of things I can tell you that are, you know, secret. I found some things that you're probably going to want to know. But as far as arsenal goes with a little glitch spots, it probably does have good spots, but I didn't dig that deep into it. I did find something out. You notice I'm using the Torp class instead of Ruin here because you can actually do some things with barricades that make the map a little more useful. And I'm going to use those going forward onto the, all the other map tutorials. So hopefully you, got, you guys enjoy this. I'm going to try to do this in one take without doing a lot of cutting and stuff like that. So let's start. So this is one of the spawns down here. And yes, you can go in this water. You can swim out here once you go past the you know the boundary is going to tell you it's a warning blah 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 um as for the start of this map so the first thing you really need to know is that this is a, a good head glitch because in control this is a good spawn trap right here in control and in domination there's a flag that sits over on this area um on the beach over there and this is a spawn trap you're going to spawn here you're going to spawn over here i think i think it's over here and then you have a chance of spawning on that side as well. But right here, these people can get on this head glitch, the one I'm looking at, and they can just spawn trap you. So the way to counter that is you get to this, and then you can get out, you know, or you can um, you can fight back by getting to this head glitch. But that's a key little head glitch that you need to know about. Don't just run by this boat. It's kind of important if when you're in that spawn trap, um, a good way of countering it and getting out of that. So the first thing that I really found that was pretty important so this right here is another area where people push out the spawn trap um, they'll run right out of this ruin and if you find yourself in a position where you know the spawn trap and you can actually crouch right here on this um the sand mound and use this whole mound for protection it's probably intended for that like that's that's probably the original use that they put it in the game but a lot of i don't see a lot of people doing it so right here you can peek this ruin you can shoot into there I um, mean, you can also work this all the way around there's another little mound right here that you can get behind and you have a perfect head glitch to this ruin. You can move this way a little bit. You can see all the way down it, which is uh, heavily trafficked from this uh, broken ruin water side all the way to the mid map. So you can actually crouch like right here and you can see people coming around that corner. You can move over a little bit and play the whole archway. Um, you can stand here and look inside and look all the way across. You can stand here and you can pretty much do the same thing on this part not as effective but this is an archway as well so if you get a little angle on this that's very very important and then lastly you can obviously play it from this side or you can use this one to um look for people crossing here and here all right next up we're on this this back side so we we were on this mound looking that way towards the inner map now we're on the outside of the map and this is actually something that I do not think is intended so you have this this wooden log right here and when you watch other players walk onto this so first of all you can't you can't climb any of this stuff all of this is blocked off you can climb this one right here but you can't go anywhere you know it's like I'm, I'm sprinting I'm blocked off from any part of the map that's inside that little that wall as for this you can push right up here and look I'm not even standing on the log all the way there's one foot on and you can push on to this log like this and it gives you a decent line of sight you can watch people move back and forth right there by the big tree um, you can also peek this way a little bit it's, it's a decent line of sight worth you know taking a look at sometimes if someone so there is a flag like I said there is a flag it's, that's like right here I think I think it's right here so if you do want to capture that flag and you have a teammate on it you can go ahead and just peek this right here you can watch for someone to push it and you have a better angle on them than they do on you because shooting through that um, having to shoot a target through that is probably really difficult imagine just running around the corner like this and there's someone right there they can't aim up here they have to hit you right through this so it's 
it's probably super difficult. While we're here, I'm going to talk about some of the barricade spots that I found. And this was one of the first ones I did find. And I think right here was the most useful way to use it. So I don't know if you guys want to use your barricades like this, but sometimes it can help get an additional line of sight. If you didn't know, you can climb. If you didn't know, you can climb the barricades. I don't know why I said that so fast. but So we're going to put one down. I'm going to line up right here on this um, where it starts angling down. I'm going to line up right here. And I'm going to put it down right on the edge. So if you jump onto the barricade and you walk up, you see how it gives me that extra boost right there? So I'm auto already right here. I'm at a decent line of sight. I can pretty much see that ladder. But if you step up a little more, you get an extra boost. Now I can see this whole ship. So if I just peek up a little bit, I can see everyone on this head glitch. I can see that ladder. Um, if I move this way a little bit, I can see more of that ladder. And like I said, this isn't, it's not gonna you know make your gameplay that much better. But using this, finding this out, using this information going forward, I think it's gonna help us find a lot more spots on the map. And you could probably use it to your advantage like that. Cause if someone tries to challenge you by sliding around this corner, they're gonna get hit by your barricade. So they're gonna take some damage. Hopefully you recognize that fast enough if you do try to do a little peak spot and you can um, take advantage of it. So here's that. I'm gonna show you a couple other spots you can put a barricade down. You could also do it on this rock, but it's a little harder. Um, yeah, so let's move on. So next up we have this this waterway right here. A lot of people won't recognize th this waterway. They, they just for completely forget about it. So obviously you have people that travel from the water around to this area, or they travel from mid-map to this area. Well, there's people that also travel under and they flank like this. And that's actually a really good spot to flank with, even for people that are sitting in the ruins already. And let me um, show you guys that if you don't really understand what I mean. So this is a control point. So when you push onto this control point and there's someone defending it, it'll say contested. Or if they're attacking it and you're trying to defend it, once you step on to this area, it says contested. So automatically, if they're sitting here, if they're sitting like this, and it says contested, they know you're here. So what they're gonna do, they're gonna peek out like this. Usually it's gonna leave them in a, a power position because you're on defense and they can just peek out and you know see you right here or they can slide into this corner. They pretty much know where you are just from where you're contesting. Um, one thing I like doing is I like running into this, contesting that point, and I'll jump down into the water. And then that allows me to get over here. You know, and then I can peek from this side because now they pushed up and they, they're looking into mid map. And now I've flanked around them and I have a position on them. And I can make the decision where I want to shoot from. Another situation where you can do that is if you see someone like, like over here, you can just hop into the water first and then you can peek it while you're going under and through right here. Now you can shoot through the water, you can shoot out of the water, you can shoot into the water. So that's a very key thing to do on this map. And I mean, there's so much of it on this map, you might as well take advantage of it. I wish it showed it on the map, but you can't really tell. But like I said, there's so much of it on the map, you might as well take advantage of it. Um, another thing that you can do is you can go into the water over here and you can swim right next to this boat. You can actually get on top of this boat, but it's going to give you a, a warning, a boundary warning. But you can crouch or you can go underwater right here and you can actually snipe people through the water just like that and they won't even be expecting it they, it's so hard for them to see you swim right here they, it's so hard for them to see this that you're going to get the easy shot you can also move over a little bit and see people on the ladder side so you have the advantage a hundred percent of the time and you might as well take advantage of it All right, next up we have the reversal of that last water shot. So you can jump up here on this red, what is this called? Red box, red crate, red container. And you can head glitch this orange and you can peek into this window. You can head glitch the orange and peek into this. Um, you have a really good line of sight here. But again, one of those quick window peeks is you can swim, you go over here, you can swim. And then you can see, you know, the corner and head glitch this rock and shoot from here or you can swim all the way over here and while you're in the water you can see this whole window and it's, they can't even see you from there they really can't um, we've tested this and it's, it's almost impossible to see the other player that's in the water and then you can just boom 
headshot them, shoot them in the water, however you want to do it. Um, take some beginning or take your first AR shots from that distance. Go ahead and weaken them up. Or if you don't want to take any shots at all, you can get some information like that. Keep swimming underwater and then you can make your push to the outside of the map and uh, go from there. Again, so here's this little island rock out in the middle of this water. Here's another little barricade thing you can do. You can put a barricade on it. Yeah, you can use it for cover for this. And, you know, take your shots like that. Or you can jump up onto it and you can head glitch this orange a little better. And not only that, but you can see this side of the map pretty well. If you move up onto it, um, you're not really missing a whole lot here. You're going to be able to see the body unless they're laying down prone right under the orange crate. You can pretty much see everything here. Take your shots. Um, you're about chest high when you aim at the, the top of this thing. So go ahead and take advantage of the barricade spots. So now we're on the other side of the map. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this line of sight. You can see people that are coming up this ladder from here. If you want to go ahead and head glitch that. If you know someone, you just got killed on the boat or something, you know someone's pushing it. You can, you're going to end up spawning around this area sometimes. And you can get that first peek. Go ahead and see them from there. Or you can push up this side and catch them from this angle. Take them out from this angle. You can see this whole side of the map just from this little head glitch. A lot of people like running right up the beach. I mean, you might as well get some cover and, and take it from there if you're going to challenge somebody anyways. So on this back side by the water, you can swim all the way out to the, the buoys, but there's not much to really see. I mean, you do have this line of sight, which isn't really anything crazy, You can, but you can see into this doorway. Again, which isn't anything crazy because that's it's a tough shot, especially unless you have a sniper. And it, it really doesn't give you anything other than the information. Um, fun fact, there is a shark in the water here. Cannot shoot him. I have tested it many times. You can see him in the water more. When you go into it. There he is. There's the big guy. I've tried to shoot him hundreds of times no way you can do it i think there's only one that runs this side but i feel like that was a cool little thing to share with you guys all right so next up there's a flag here you can um approaching the flag you can challenge it from this angle you can kind of you know look right into it you can go ahead and slide over on this angle you can flank around you know run into the house and you can see it from here a um, nice little hiding spot we found was in this grass area. You can lay in this grass and they won't even know you're here. This is, I mean, you're almost completely covered. Other than that, there's not much, there's not a lot really going on. You can wall bang this ship because it is all wood. So if you, you peek someone in the flag there, you can, you can shoot through and hit them. You have this nice little window, window showing you the side. Unfortunately, you can't peek into the ship, but that's really that's all that's going on in this spot. Here's the jungle side of the map. A lot of people like to fight from these angles, from this head glitch to that head glitch. Um, they like to push around this side. There's a control point that's like right here. So they like to push around here and check these head glitches out. Very, very popular spot. No one really looks into the water. So if you have a chance, you know someone's here, go ahead and just jump through the water and you know shoot them while you're swimming through it because they, they don't really look here a lot. So here you have this half wall, this little window spot. Go ahead and take advantage of this because a lot of people will challenge from the outside, but not a lot of people will challenge from the outside looking in. And you can do that just as well. You know, if you know someone's in that spot, go ahead and challenge that. If you know they're coming around, you can challenge there. You can pick this corner. Um, you can even set up like this. So, you know, you're forcing them to have to go a different route. Um, you know, once you do this on control, you pretty much lock up the whole area that they can come out so take advantage of that or you can set the barricade you know in the okay, so this one's here you can set the barricade pretty much further in if you would like as well on control and when i use torque i use them as aggressive as i can so you will see me be, you know I'll, I'll do stuff like this the what there i can there we go so look at that they really can't they can't even run through here and if they combine challenge, then they're pretty much screwed there. This spot, put barbed wire there, or you can, you know, 
one up them and put it right there and they can't even come in so you have this whole spot locked down to yourself one person literally one person can almost lock down this whole entire area so let's say i do put this razor wire outside but i don't want it inside let me go ahead and break this let me show you what i'm talking about so let's say it is right there and i don't want to put one here then you can also put one like you know um like right here or something i might want to back this up so you can put it like right here or something and now you literally have locked down this whole entire area by yourself they come in they have to challenge you from this side because they can't peek you from here you can also peek that side um you can watch this you know that they can't run through without getting a hit marker and then um the only way they can enter is from here or flanking all the way around so you pretty much lock down the whole map on control just from this one setup so make sure you're taking notes of that now that we've showed the outside of the map let's go ahead and do the inside of the map and talk about some of the things you can do from here so there's a flag here you can challenge it from this window it's the easiest way to do it you can also challenge mid from this window you can crawl through this window can't crawl through the half ones obviously so go ahead you can flank from here you might want to take advantage of that um, if you know they're spawning back there and you want to go ahead and flip spawn or I don't know why you would want to do that or if you want to spawn trap a good thing you can do is you can actually push in and hide here and they will keep spawning so you can just you know run out get your kills okay you can run run back inside sit the corner you can pop back out you can go over to the head glitch but use this this little window as much as possible to really give them a, um, a disadvantage because they won't know where you are if you keep using that window so one of the most annoying things that you come in contact with on this map specifically is people camping in this window and then you know they're so what they'll do is they'll do stuff like this they'll do stuff like this where they have mesh vines set up everywhere and they, they really don't want you coming in here and it's very very annoying so obviously you're not going to deal with this too much in um control or capture game or gameplays but in other game modes you're going to run into some kids that just really don't want you to come in this building and they want to get their streaks so that leads you to this yeah you just saw me jump from that window to the middle you can do the reverse so let's say that you come around the corner and you do see someone in that window you can uh, slide the cover or something you just run over here you can obviously jump up here if i can get up here and shoot there you can jump up here and shoot into it but i like to just go ahead and go for it all and i like to just jump in right behind them you know get that kill push up a little more you can go ahead and peek out here in their spawn and you can work this window just like you did the one in their spawn you can go in and out freely get this head glitch you know flip over here hold this head glitch push up you know you can you can literally play this area of the map as fast as possible if you use all this to your advantage i missed the jump so what do i do i can either go onto this ladder and let them all see me you know climb up the ladder which takes years to do or do this little jump up so i'm glad that actually happened i didn't intend for myself to you know fall and not make that jump but yeah so that was cool i can i can pretty much show you how to do that I was going to get to it eventually, but it was nice that it happened right there. So there is a B flag that sits right here in this middle area. One thing you can do is you can, you know, sit on it and you can challenge from here. You have all these people looking at you from the window. You can also set a barricade up on one side like this, you know, and you can put this like right here. This old knacker someone's day. And you can play it kind of like this as well so your head just looks like a dot from the, the, the opponent you can slide down a little bit and they can't see you at all and then you can push up shoot into there you have this um you can jump on top of this if you want to i don't know if you would want to do that and set the barricade up top i don't really know if you want to do that i mean it probably worked just as well or like i said you can put this thing right up against the, the barrels or the boxes like that jump on it Play like that you can also do vice versa like that. and now you have this whole head glitch to uh, shoot people out a window or shoot people that are on the rock head glitch so again use that to your advantage use it as much as possible they might do something later to patch jumping on the barricades i doubt that though because you can mantle it 
And if they did something where you can't jump on top of them, that's gonna, I feel like that would affect this, this whole situation right here. So take advantage of it while you can. So next up we have this tin area right here. And I, I'm calling it the tin area because there is a rock head glitch here. So we're gonna call this the tin side. So there's these barricades that you can head glitch from here and shoot people, you know, inside the window. Or you can go to this side, the tin, and you can peek it like this, which is a, I would think a little better because you have, not only do you have this guarding you, but look how tough of a shot it is from them, you know, to, to try to challenge that. So if you're crouched under this, if you're crouched here, they can kind of see you. If you're crouched behind the tin, they can barely see anything and they have to hit that shot. If not, then they have to go through two things. They have to go through this little box and they have to go through the wall on top of that. They have to go through the tin. So not only two, they have to go through three things just to shoot you when you're behind this. So it's a good little counter peek. Um, you can also see this door, which you can't see from here very well. You can only see that corner. From this side, you can kind of see into it a little better. Yeah, the middle is about right here. You can see the peek around it. So another little spot that you guys might want to check out. As for long shots on this map, your best long shots are here to the window or here to the middle area right there by those ruins. Every time you connect from here, anytime you connect from that spot, that should be a long shot. So if you want to knock those long shots out of the way, that is the place you want to do. Last thing I want to go over is the waterways. Because, I mean, the boat really doesn't have anything special on it other than you can see ruins and that's about it. The waterways are important because you can use them to travel everywhere. So if you know someone's capping over here on this, this spot, go ahead and get as low as you can. And you can swim through here all the way on one breath. You know, now we're here. Now we're behind. We just went from mid map all the way around without even being detected, you know, for what was that, like 10 seconds? Same as the other way. If you don't, you know, you can challenge someone from this side, jump into the water. They probably think you're going the other way. You go around. You can challenge them from mid or, you know, push around here. There's a lot of things you can do from the water. So make sure you're swimming, you know, becoming, channeling your inner dolphin as much as possible. And then lastly, this spot in the water, like I said, it's so hard for them to see you when you're first getting in there. So might as well come through and challenge from there before you get up and contest this point. All right, guys, that ought to do it for the uh, contraband map tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Not as much as the Arsenal map had, but I mean, we did find a lot of things. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys could use this to your advantage and make you uh, a better player overall. As for the content, I didn't upload yesterday because I was on vacation to uh, Disney. If you guys catch my live stream, then you knew that I was leaving yesterday. Yeah, yesterday, because this week going up today. So you guys knew I was leaving yesterday and I wouldn't be live at all or have anything uploaded. So thank you guys for supporting me through this. Um, I should be live tonight. At the time this is uploaded, I should be live that night. I'm also going to be working on my gun guide right after this. So guys, thank you. Um, make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Sub to the channel if you are new. And as always, it's been your boy Jay Tizzle. I'm out. Peace.